Welcome to the screencast on um, some of the new features in InnoSafe 4 for creating your own map compositions. I'm going to do a quick walkthrough showing you how you go about creating a custom um, composer template for, um, in this case, we'll do flood on population and um, show you some of the new things you can do with QGIS expressions and QGIS variables to customize your template. Um, and then we'll uh, look at how we generate the report using that custom template. So uh, I'm going to kick off by just uh, running an analysis of um, flood on people for just one small area, just so that I've got a little bit of data to work with. Okay, and now um, that I've run the analysis I'm going to just select one of the um, impact layers here. Um, and um, the thing that we're looking to be able to use are all these variables that get created here, which are inner safe variables. Um, and we're also looking to be able to use QGIS expressions and the inner safe specific QGIS expressions. So I've prepared a little layout here. Um, I've added two pages to my composition. On the one page, I'm going to add a map, and uh, on the second page, I'm going to add some simple infographic elements. So um, I'm just going to uh, go ahead and do it, and um, uh, I'll keep quiet a bit so I can concentrate while I'm doing it, and then um, just mention any key key um, things that I did uh, towards the end once I've got the basic structure in place. Right, so here you can see I'm adding just a normal map element. But one thing I'm doing is naming its ID as impact-map. In a safe, we'll replace that with the um, with actual impact map. And now I'm adding, I'm using um, one of the in a safe variables to add the map title to the top of the map. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and add a, a logo, the in a safe logo. And for this one, I'll be using a, an expression which in a safe is exposed to QGIS. So you can just search for logo. So that will replace the logo then with the in a safe um, logo. And now I'm going to create a north arrow and again use the Zacutus expression, which will give you the uh, standard inner safe north arrow. Right, and then next I'm going to put underneath this um, map on the second page some simple infographic elements showing the uh, hazard exposure and aggregation uh, layers that were used and the paths um, that we print for those will come from, in, uh, from project variables that have been set up by InnoSafe. I'm just playing everything at uh, double speed because it's not very exciting to watch me just getting the layout set up. Um, and I'm just using some standard icons that come shipped with InnoSafe. And this part you can see I'm using the one of the keyword um, project variables to get the name of the hazard layer or the path for the hazard layer. And then I do the same for the exposure layer and the aggregation layer. And then you can just adjust your layout as you want it and arrange everything nicely on the page, however you like. I'm just doing this as a rough and ready example. Obviously, you're probably going to spend a bit more time getting it perfect on your production ready um, layouts. Okay, 
and then you can add other elements that you like as well so for example i'm adding the copyright details for the layers um, in this at this point again this is coming from a project variable And then I repeat the process for the other layers as well. In these cases, they haven't actually got their copyright information defined, so it's showing as blank. So at this point in the process, I've now prepared my template and I'm saving it into my inner safe plugin, uh, into my QGIS plugins directory <clears throat> and um, I'm saving it under the name of flood dash population which is the hazard and then the exposure and then um, I'm just going to close up the template here and select a different um, uh, aggregation area and then rerun the analysis and because of, of the naming convention I've used of hazard-exposure and saving it in my .qgis2 inner safe directory, um, inner safe will automatically generate a report um, using my template, which we'll see come up in a second. All right, so now you can see there's the new area with the report being generated for it as a PDF and my infographic elements or um, whatever other elements you choose to put in using QGIS um, expressions and variables. Yeah, I hope this brief um, overview shows how the basic system works for creating templates and of course you need to use your own creativity and uh, requirements to decide exactly what you put into your templates. Thanks for watching.